already took the items out of the Honda Alonso 2005, replaced the radiator, same parts, same valves, and the cooling valve, transmission line, and the radiator hose, the filler tank. And that's it. And the overflow valve. Right there, so yeah, everything match up. Right inside the hood. Yeah. That's what happened. The radiator overflowed with fluid out of the top of the radiator from the heat and the pressure and was spraying on top of the engine. I changed the thermostat. This antifreeze is not really in the back near the thermostat, but the thermostat was seized up, so I put we put the housing on the plastic casing right there where the thermostat was at. And then I reattached the assemblies, the wiring harness. And I didn't I had to move that cabin filter so I could get to the thermostat housing. And it's a gasket underneath there, so you might want to pull the plastic gasket off if you had to replace it. And of course putting the plastic gasket back on when you put the dumpster back on face spring facing in as you see I got the radiator fluid drained out and that's the condenser in the rear so the condenser is fine it's not a condenser had to unassemble the housing off the condenser to get the radiator off that's one screw is right there and then there's two more screws on the side right here that slightly had to be unscrewed. And then it's another screw way at the bottom right there that had to be unscrewed. So you might be wondering why it's not coming out as easy. Then there's the housing bracket at the bottom right there. Then the other housing bracket goes right here. It's one right there, it's just like that one. And one right there, same thing on that side. There's the hose assembly. Of course, you need to detach the hoses so you can basically unassemble the sockets. This is electrical socket current uh there's a filler tank so while it's out i'm looking at my fuel see it's at the full line so i know that's not my water pump so basically it's if it was draining it'd probably be my water pump so the fuel is getting pumped and if we're getting pumped through but by the time it gets to the top of the radiator the top of the radiator had a leak right around the seals so I use a, I use a gasket sealer. As you can see, some of the residue is still on the side. And basically, it didn't seal it too good. So now, you gotta reassemble.